Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how to increase the range of your Parrot Bebop. And yeah, now we're gonna start by configuring the Wi-Fi extender. I ordered a Wi-Fi extender via Amazon and yeah, that's a very cheap thing. It was about 16 euros here in Germany. And yeah, it has two antennas. And yeah, we're gonna find out if they're doing a good job. And yeah, we'll soon start configuring. What you see here is my battery pack. And uh, yeah, it has 2200 milliamperes. So what we have to do is search for the Wi-Fi Plus on your um, yeah, smartphone. And then you have to enter the address USB Wi-Fi dot CN. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the, the Wi-Fi is not password secured, so you're getting directly connected. And when you, <laughs> when you do not fail to enter the address like I did, you're gonna get this uh, nice little start screen. And now the Wi-Fi extender is searching for the Wi-Fi signal of your Bebop drone. So what I'm gonna do next is switch on my Bebop drone so the Wi-Fi signal is broadcasted. And yeah, next thing you gotta do is uh, yeah, uh, reload the website. And after you did that, um, you see that it's gonna find some Wi-Fi. So I thought this is the correct Wi-Fi, which is wrong because my Bebop Wi-Fi actually is named Bebop Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, after I now retried, or, or yeah, said rescan, it's now gonna find my Bebop drone. Yeah, here we go. So, at this point, you have to enter the um, Wi-Fi key of your Bebop drone, uh, which I hope you have because it's uh, very insecure to fly without a secured network. And now the interesting thing is you have to keep in mind if the blue light of the Wi-Fi extender is flashing, the, um, the Wi-Fi signal is being uh, extended. Yeah, so we were successful. And what I'm gonna do next is connect to the new Wi-Fi. So what it does is it's broadcasting a new network called Bebop blah, 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 with an addition plus. So I'm gonna connect to that and I'm now gonna re-enter the same password I set for my Bebop drone. Yeah, and now I'm trying to connect to the network and uh, trying to find my drone via the plus network and um, yeah it's gonna take a little while okay so now I'm just uh, opening the app free fry free flight pro trying to get a connect so and now I can see okay I can access the drone memory next I'll try to um, put away the, um, the camera cap and as you can see there is a yeah, video stream so everything is fine I'm connected via the extender to my drone and yeah everything seems fine so what we have to do now is like together doing a little test flight and yeah to see does it really increase the range of your Bebop drone? And yeah, now we'll do a little time shift because I did this part of the video in the evening. And yeah, the next day I'll go out for you and do a little test flight and you're gonna see the result in the next few minutes of this video. So stay tuned.
so we're now back on track and this is me getting ready for the flight um, yeah here we're connecting the Wi-Fi extender to the battery pack and just in case you were wondering um, I just um, put the Wi-Fi extender in the trunk of my car which was opened all the time and I was around like two or three meters of my car uh, or near near my car and um, yeah steering the drone via iPhone and yeah keep in mind the important thing is that the blue light is flashing on the Wi-Fi extender that says that everything is fine so here this is a picture where you can't see my drone but you can see that it's very far away this was my first little test flight what you see here is my test flight I'm doing together with you we're now nearly 200 meters away with the drone and yeah I always had a very bad connection with my iPhone 6s plus it was always like yeah this completely disconnecting at 130 meters and video stream was very poor at about like 100 meters and as you can see here we're getting near 400 meters and um, next thing I'm gonna do now is uh, like rising with the drone at like 50 meters and it's it works like a charm it's no problem video stream is totally stable and yeah no interruptions no problems yeah feels very smooth and very safe to fly like that so I've always been very afraid when my drone was like this far away or this high and yeah with this stable connection it's yeah you feel definitely more comfortable flying far away or very high up in the sky with your drone now I'm just taking some pictures with this beautiful view and yeah so that's pretty much it that's my experience so far with the Wi-Fi extender um, I will definitely keep you updated because um, when the weather is getting better I'm doing definitely more flights with the Wi-Fi extender and my drone I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope the English version was not too poor um, best wishes from Germany um, yeah, it would be nice if you give me a thumbs up or like, uh, yeah, do like my channel, uh, that would be great. And yeah, see you with my uh, next hack for the Bebop drone. Thanks, bye bye.